give us a wave. Now, big smile. All right, hold it. Here we go. Say cheese. Cheese. That's great. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Well done, everyone. That was a very good bit of snorkeling. One thing, though, Tim, you're definitely swimming too deep. <laughs> so, you're the opera singer. That's right, soprano. Can you do that thing where you sing a really high note and it shatters a glass? <laughs> yeah. Come in, Mr. Vine. Sit down. Thanks. Cheers. Ta. So what seems to be the problem? Well, it's a bit embarrassing, awkward, difficult. Don't be shy. I keep repeating everything in several different terms, ways, expressions. <laughs> and uh, when did this start? Uh, recently, of late, the other day. <laughs> right. Well, you've got thesaurus disease. <laughs> It's nothing to worry about, unless, of course, you have the particularly rare strain. Right. How can you tell? Conclude. Surmise. <laughs> well, if you've got the particularly rare strain, you'll occasionally throw in a completely irrelevant word. Oh. Well, that's not happening, occurring, transpiring, chinchilla. <laughs> oh, dear. So, how does this strain differ from the other, the first, the former? It's highly contagious, infectious, catching, bivouac. <laughs> What's the matter with you? The kids have been so naughty. I mean, look what they've done to Lee. Oh, come on. All kids bury their dad in the sand. Well, they've not buried him. Cut his head off. <laughs> Hiya. Couldn't help noticing you were sitting on your own. Do you want to dance? Um, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Great. Look after my bag. Is something adventurous. Would you be interested in one of our hunting holidays? Hunting? It's a bit old fashioned, isn't it? Oh, not at all. It's specifically targeted at younger people. It's called Club 18 to 30 Seals. <laughs> Club 18 to 30 Seals? Yep. I must warn you, though, there is a surcharge if you kill more than 30. <laughs> no, I'm more interested in something like skiing. That's a good idea. Cross country skiing. Get right out into the countryside. That sounds good. And shoot a bear. <laughs> I don't want to shoot a bear. Would you like to go to Borneo and throw bricks at orangutans? <laughs> no. What about twatting zebras? <laughs> Where the hell do you do that? In the mouth, I imagine. <laughs> really not interested. All right, what about fishing in Scotland? Fishing? That's not so bad. Is it uh, trout or salmon? Otters. <laughs> fishing for otters? Well, it's more harpooning than fishing. <laughs> I want a nice holiday, something relaxing but still exciting, you know? I don't want to be harpooning things and clubbing seals, and I certainly don't want to throw sticks at orange monkeys. Yeah, it was bricks and they're apes, not monkeys, love. The <laughs> point is, I want to relax. Of course you do. Can I say to you, Brecon beacons? That sounds good. Can I say to you, miles of undulating hills and rambling meadows? Lovely. Can I say to you, badger gassing? <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, come on! Kill as many as you like, there's no surcharge, they don't feel a thing. All right, parachuting. Parachuting? Yep. Where? Africa. That sounds all right. Great. Parachuting it is, then. So, how many parrots would you like to shoot? <laughs> Excuse me, don't I know you? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm sure I do. Did you go to Tynebeck Sixth Form College? Nope. Do you live in Kingston? No. Did you ever go to Sutton Library? Nope. I definitely recognise you. Were you in the Territorial Army? No, never. Oh, I'm determined to get to the bottom of this, darling. I know. You went on holiday to Monte Carlo. No. I'm sure I know you. I don't think you do. What do you do for a living? I'm a lap dancer. I'm thinking of someone else. <laughs> How's it going, lads? Yep, yeah, all finished, boss. Deepest well we've ever dug. What's the light at the bottom? Well, we followed the plans. Yeah, we did just what he said. 
You're supposed to be building a lighthouse. <laughs> Fascism, wasn't it? That's fair enough. Oh, I suppose oh, it's yeah, justified, yeah. 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 Okay. Right. War is wrong, apart from the Second World War. War is wrong, apart from the Second World War and the Spanish Civil War. <laughs> yeah, well, that was fighting the dictatorship. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. War is wrong, apart from the Second World War and the Spanish Civil War. War is wrong, apart from the Second World War and the Spanish Civil War and the Crimean War. <laughs> In fact, there was the Hundred Year War as well, wasn't there? In fact, come here, I've got an idea. Kill! 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 Karen, we've been going out together now for three years. <laughs> and I was wondering... Yes? ..if this would make you look taller. Right, we've all done adult movies before, so let's get this thing in the can and we're out of here. So if you'd just like to undress her slowly, please. Well, can you go out? <laughs> we can't go out, we've got to film it. Well, can you shut your eyes? I'm the director, I can't shut my eyes. Well, the sound man can shut his eyes. Have you done porn before? Yes. Well, can you get on with it, please? Well, can I shut my eyes? No, action! <laughs> And improvise some lines. Oh, Bobby, you're so powerful. So? You're so dominating. Do you fancy a biscuit? <gasps> you're like an animal. Which animal? Cut! <laughs> Can you try and get into it a bit more, please? Well, she's calling me names, putting me off. Well, if she calls you names, call her names back. She calls you an animal, call her a tease, my hussy. Right, action! Oh, Bobby, what are you doing to me, you animal? I'm taking your cardi off, you cow. Oh. <laughs> That's right, Bobby, talk dirty to me. Ah, shut it, you spanner. Cut! <laughs> right, just forget the whole talking thing and make noises like you're getting into it. <clears throat> Action! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> With it, but you keep interrupting. Right, forget the whole noises thing, let's just cut straight to the sex. Right. Where are you going? Put my pyjamas on, brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's Jim Tavery? Yeah. And you live in the borough of Hackney? Yes, I do. You have a drink problem and you take drugs? Yeah. And do you want to do something about it? Yes, I'd like to move to Marbella. Fill her up, please. Yep. Isn't it a bit dangerous smoking? Hey, you've got to die somehow. Anyway, I'm celebrating. It's my birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday, boss. Oh, <laughs> dear, dear. Stick on top of the pub. Nice, it? Four star, is it? Yeah, whatever, I don't mind. Hang on a minute, there's a crack in this. I've got to fix that. I don't want to get petrol on my shoes, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Push that mobile off. It's dangerous. You want to sit inside or outside? Uh, inside, I think. 
Oh, no, come on. It's such a nice day. Let's sit outside. Well, it's a bit cold. Let's sit inside. Oh, don't be such a tart. Come on, let's sit outside. Why did you bother even asking me whether I wanted to sit inside or outside? Well, because, to be honest, I thought you'd say outside. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't, did I? No, you didn't, because you're such a girl and it's cold. I want to sit inside. I don't talk like that. I don't talk like that. Oh, grow up, Kitty. I'm not in the mood. No, grow up, Kitty. I'm not in the mood. God, you're such a pain in the arse. I don't know why I go out with you half the time. I'll tell you why, because I'm the only one that puts up with your constant whinging and your complaining and your whining and your... Uh, 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 it's cold. I want to see inside. Ow, oh, the wind's hurting me. Uh, uh, uh. Man, sometimes you're so annoying, I just want to punch you in the face. Yeah, well, I'd like to see you try. Yeah, well, so would I, because I could kick your ass easy. Yeah, come on. Yeah? Yeah, me and you, outside now. Great, you bring the drinks, yeah? <laughs> Idiot. There's always one, isn't Working late at the office again. Can I borrow your stapler? Let me give you a hypothetical situation. There's a man who's got very close to someone he works with. In fact, he's fallen in love with her. He thinks about her every waking second, and at night he dreams about her. Now, let me complicate this hypothetical situation by saying that this man is married. What should he do about the woman at work? He should kiss her. That's just what I thought. Answer B, kiss her. Right, here's another one. A man has a pot of chicken in a bag of grey. Good evening, sir. Hello. We're from the local police station. Can you confirm that your name is Mr. Tim Vine? Yeah, that's me. Mr. Tim Vine, chartered surveyor of 27 Addison Road. Yeah, that's me. What's going on? We're here on a very serious matter, sir. We're going to have to ask you to accompany us to the police station. What, now? I can't. I'm afraid we're going to have to insist. No, but I'm waiting for my wife. It's my birthday today. We're having a party and there's loads of people. Ugh. station and identify your wife. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, sir. You sell spider plants. Sell what? Spider plants. Spider plants? Yeah. The hell are they? You know, Chlorophytum camosum arachneus. Why don't you just say that, you pretentious git? <laughs> I'd like to welcome you all to the hostage negotiator's Christmas party. Put the microphone down and step away from the stage. Yeah, can you just 
send it over to Taylor's lookalike agency. Thank you. Come in. <laughs> is this the right room for the lookalike auditions? Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, it is. Who do you do? Frank Spencer. You don't really look like Frank Spencer. Hang on, ma'am. I need my props. <laughs> Actually, that's amazing. Wow, with a spitting image. <laughs> do you do the voice as well? Oh, you betcha, ma'am. Umberi, 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 umberi. <laughs> Um, Betty, um, Betty, um, Betty. Oh, no, the cat's just done a whoopsie on the carpet, um, Betty. That's fantastic. You're going to make a lot of money. Hang on, ma'am. I do want more. Really great. Who is it? Norman Wisdom. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see it now, you say, actually. Hey, Mr. Grimsdale, Mr. Grimsdale, Mr. Grimsdale, Mr. Grimsdale. <laughs> hey, Mr. Grimsdale, Mr. Oh, no, I've fallen over, Mr. Grimsdale. That's just amazing. We're going to be able to get you so much work. I mean, the both absolutely perfect. Oh, ha hang on, ma'am. I do want more. Really great. Who is it? Elvis Presley. Hmm, yeah, I don't really see you as him. Wait till you hear the voice. <laughs> well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. It's down. Oh, yes, Fox. <laughs> it's down at the end Arsenal of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel. Ah, Mr. Monk, what are you painting today? I'm calling this one The Scream. Very good. I just can't seem to get the face right. <laughs> I've got an idea. Oh, I'm so tired. I've had such a tough day at work. I'm really looking forward to the weekend. Oh, come here, sweetheart. Oh, mm. I love it when we do spoons. It makes me feel all warm and cuddly and cosy. <laughs> You're such a great boyfriend. It's really great. Oh, no, don't stop. <laughs> This is where Tim jumped. It's awful. I didn't know he was depressed. He wasn't, but the horse he was riding was. <laughs> well, this is a very exciting night for us here at the Ambassador's Ball. I'm so glad you could fill in at such short notice. No problem. Now, I've not heard you play before, but I believe you know a wide range of classical music. Is that right? Absolutely. OK, well, um, off you go and, hey, have some fun with it. Sorry, is it too loud? No, it was the choice of music. What was that? Wake me up before you go, then. By wham. Right. Well, it's very nice, but could you just stick with the classics? That is a classic. No, she's got a point. Let's try this. Bad boys, stick together, together, sad boys. <laughs> now that is a classic. I mean classical music. Well, classical's a very subjective word. Yeah, let's not get into this whole wham versus the human league argument. <laughs> I don't think you understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your way. You, you were working as a waitress at a cocktail bar. Stop it! <laughs> I need you to play proper classical music, something from the classical genre, like one of your German composers. We can do model by Kraftwerk. She's a I want real classical music. I don't want your erasures and your haircuts 100s. I don't want any of your 80s crap. <gasps> <laughs> I'm not asking too much, am I? You think it'd be easy, do you? 
You're about as easy as a nuclear war. Not my words, love, the words of Duran Duran. This is planet Earth. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> so, the 1980s was crap, was it? Well, let me ask you a question. Hmm? Are they crap? Hmm? <laughs> is that crap? <laughs> Are these crap? I don't think so. Do you? So, yeah, you could scoff at the 1980s if you like, but you can keep your Barks and your Tchaikovsky's and we'll keep our Tony Hadley's and Simon Le Bon's. Yes, I know to people like you, Beethoven was one of the greatest composers in the history of mankind, but to us, Beethoven is a great big giant St. Bernard in one of the most underrated films of the last 20 years. <laughs> So yes, you say to us Amadeus Mozart, and we'll say to you... Amadeus, Amadeus! Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus! Amadeus! Falco, 1986. <laughs> right, are you going to play any classical music? No, we are not. Why? Because it's really difficult. 